everyone. So, as you may know, there are some differences between France and the UK in greetings um, between different levels of formality and in also different contexts. Yes. So, we're going to take a little look at this now. Madame Bordeaux. Bonjour, Madame. Hi, Anna. Morning, Ashley. So in France, when you're greeting your boss, um, you'd use the formal vous to address them, and um, most likely also use um, their second name. It can vary if you've known your boss for a long time, and um, if the hierarchy is a little bit more flat. In the UK, we have a bit more of a flat hierarchical system. So when you greet your boss, you'd probably be on first name basis. Enchanté, Madame Laporte. Enchanté. It's a pleasure to meet you. Oh, lovely to finally meet you too. In France, when you greet a new client, you'd definitely address them formally. So using vous, and also um, then you would shake their hands as a, a way of greeting them and you would use their last name. In the UK, I think this very much depends on the formality of the situation. But with a new client, I would say that you would shake their hands. Obviously in English, we don't have the different U's, so it would just be you. Um, and you might use their last name, you might use their first name. I think it depends on the situation. Ah, salut Christine! Salut. Ça va? Ça va bien, merci. Et tout? Oui, ça va, ça va, merci. Morning Emma, how are you? Hi Ashley, I'm alright, how are you? Good, thanks. In France, when you greet a well-known colleague, you would um, address them with their, their first name and it would be a lot more informal. Um, so this does depend on how, on how well you get on and what the hierarchy is like at work, but typically um, it would switch at one point from the vous to the tu and then um, also the um, language would change a little bit, so instead of saying bonjour, you might say salut or coucou, which are a lot more um, um, uh, less formal greetings. In the UK, with your colleagues, you're quite informal, so again, first name basis. And then with maybe your work wife or husband, you might do a more informal greeting of a hug rather than just saying hello. But depends on how close you are. So a work wife or a work husband is someone that is your best friend at work, basically, and it's who you work very closely with. Um, so yeah, you spend a lot of them time with them, so they're basically like your wife or your husband for the time that you're at work. Ah, coucou Claudine! Oh, oh no, je suis trop contente de te voir! Ça va? Oui, et toi? Ah, uh, Emma, you are right. Oh, hi Ashley, it's nice to see you. You too. In France, when you greet a good friend, you'd um, address them um, informally, and you'd, uh, so you'd say tu, obviously, and you would do la bise, but it's quite common if you're close to the person that maybe one of the kisses, the first kiss, or the second kiss, or the third kiss, depending on how many times you do la bise, so it can vary from two kisses, to three kisses, to four kisses, depending on where you live. Um, and also it does vary which side you start the kissing on but it is quite typical if you are close to the person that there is some hugging involved as well or a slightly longer kiss um, as opposed to if it's someone that you don't know very well. In the UK this varies so I think it's quite standard now is a hug but obviously in the UK we also have kisses so sometimes it's one kiss sometimes it's two kisses and I never know which one to use. It's quite <laughs> difficult to judge whether you sometimes get left hanging or you leave someone hanging. Um, but yeah, if you're quite close to the person, you'd give them a hug, I think. Um, and if you're not, you're friends but not so close, then maybe a hi. You don't necessarily give a hug, but hug is quite standard, I think. Bonjour, coucou. Moi c'est Emma. Uh, je suis Ashley. Ah. Hi, I'm Ashley. Hi, I'm Emma. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. 
in France, when introducing yourself to a friend of a friend, um, you'd uh, typically address them um, in a non-formal manner, um, so using coucou, salut, comment ça va, um, that sort of language, but the level of proximity in la bise, uh, so in the kissing process, which is involved in the greeting, would be a bit more distant than you would, well, definitely more distant than you'd have with um, friends. Um, an additional rule that applies with friends, or friends of friends, is that there's this sort of, I guess, traditional idea that men um, shake hands and women kiss, so that a man would um, do la bise with a woman, but not necessarily do la bise to a French um, male friend. Um, I think, however, the closer the, the friendship, the more likely it is that they, they would kiss, but um, some male friends might also develop more this sort of handshake thing um, with, with a quick kiss. <laughs> so in the UK, when you greet a friend of a friend, I think this depends on the situation. So like if everyone's hugging, then you're more likely to hug them. But if there's a bit more distance there, then you just be like, wave and say hello, rather than going for a hug. Bonjour, mamie. In France, when greeting a family member, such as your grandma, um, it's quite typical that you'd um, do la bise and maybe also hug or have a longer kiss, some kind of physical proximity that lasts a bit longer than with strangers. And depending on circumstances, you might address them formally or informally. So there are still um, some, quite a few families, um, I mean, that would address their grandparents maybe formally um, or even their parents. So it's not, it does happen in certain families, but it's more sort of depending on the level, level of um, nobility, let's say. Then you might say vous to your mum, to your dad, to your grandparents. In the UK, I don't think we have this sort of thing anymore at all. You're definitely very much, very close to your family, well, in the hierarchical sense. Um, so when you're greeting a family member, I would say kisses are more likely, although men would still more likely shake hands, I think. So men and men shake hands and women and women kiss, um, or men and women kiss, <laughs> but I think it depends on the family, I guess. Um, and like with a grandparent, you might have a bit of a longer hug, especially if you haven't seen them in a while. Merci de voir regarder notre vidéo. Nous espérons que cela vous ait plu. Si c'est le cas, pensez à liker, commenter et à partager la vidéo avec votre famille et vos amis. Vous souhaitez en voir davantage Allez jeter un coup d'œil à notre playlist. N'oubliez pas de vous abonner à notre chaîne et à cliquer sur la petite cloche pour recevoir des notifications de nos vidéos à venir.